Now, thousands for the meantime have responded to the rise of the right by taking to the streets across eastern Ukraine. Now, this in protest of the interim authorities in Kiev. In fact, in the east, uh, Donetsk, it's been seen as uh, some of the biggest rallies demanding a referendum on a possible secession. Activists across eastern regions are saying they are making a stand against the uh, fascist leanings of a post-coup leadership. Well, now, in the meantime, a group of Israeli MPs has uh, written an open letter to the president of the European Commission. They have uh, expressed their concern over the plight of Ukrainian Jews, who they say are suffering from constant attacks. It's claimed this is a direct result of the rise of nationalists in Kiev. Activists from Ukraine's Jewish community have also traveled to Israel to seek support. I think that the new authorities in Kyiv are unpredictable and are definitely a menace to the Jewish community. They're passing laws which limit the national minorities. Russians and Jews are considered to be diasporas and inferior to Ukrainians. I've been living in fear for the past several years as this nationalist movement has been gaining steam. Other Jews are anxious too, especially the older war generation. They feel helpless because our values are incompatible with this ideology. Now, this right here has become a common scene in Ukraine. Swastikas and anti-Jewish graffiti on synagogues calling for Jews to be killed. But recently, it hasn't only been about vandalism. Now, physical attacks on the community have risen in a number of cities in Ukraine, prompting some Jews to pack their bags and find a safer place for their families. We caught up with one Israeli MP to get his perspective on the situation. In the beginning, you had gangs roaming the streets, yelling, Jews, leave. We remember similar events from the past, and we know what they could lead to. It is incitement, and you never know where it will end. So we must stay vigilant and support the Jewish communities. We support them all year round, and will continue now more than ever because of the chaos in Ukraine.